we are learning to plan and gather information that will interest the reader. Whenever you write a story, you need to think about who your audience is. That means who's going to read your story. And you need to be thinking about what you include in your story so that the person reading it is interested in what it is that you're writing about. And today we're going to be writing about this person here, Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was a very, very famous artist. And I'm going to use this plan here to help me to plan my ideas about my story. So first of all, I need to think about my big idea about the topic. So that's really what I'm writing about. So my big idea is Pablo Picasso, a famous artist. And now I have to think of four other ideas that I want to include. So my audience, the person that I'm writing for to, um, today, is other kids who are the same age as me. So I have to think about the kinds of things they might be interested in finding out about Pablo Picasso. So the first thing that I think that children would enjoy reading about for Pablo Picasso is about his childhood, because then they can think about what it was like for him when he was a kid the same age as them. So my subheading is childhood, and my sentence is, what was Pablo Picasso's childhood like? Now I need to go on the internet and I need to find two examples of information about Pablo Picasso's childhood that I think children would be interested in finding out about. So my next idea that I think children would be interested in reading about and to help them understand a bit more about Pablo Picasso is around his art. And my sentence is, why did he choose to be an artist? And then I'm going to research some information and find out a couple of reasons about why he chose to be an artist to extend on that idea. The next thing that I think children would be interested in reading about is about his artwork. So my topic sentence, my main idea about this is, what art did he make? That's where I'm going to research and find out about some of his famous artwork. I might even find out a little bit about how much he, his artwork sold for. And the final thing I'm going to share with my audience of children is some fun facts. And my topic sentence is some interesting facts about Pablo Picasso. Because children like to hear things that are a little bit different um, and unique about someone. So today you're going to use a plan like this and you're going to have to think about what your four main um, ideas are going to be that you're going to find out about with Pablo Picasso. You can have one similar to me or think of some of your own ones um, as well and then you're going to research on the internet to find out some examples to go with um, each of your um, topic sentences. Good luck for your research and planning today.